the historic impeachment trial going on right now in Austin. It resumed on time today, but once again without Ken Paxton. Chris Adeke has been covering this trial all week long for us, and Chris, he joins us live with the latest. Chris? Mark Ken Paxton is again a no show today at the Senate chamber, not around to hear the testimony of his former employees. Today, we're hearing from one such employee who says that Paxton gave his jobs to serve donor Nate Paul rather than serve the people of the state of Texas. After beginning his testimony yesterday, Ryan Bangert continued this morning. Currently, they are in a break. They took a short break for his testimony. He'll be back on the stand in just a few minutes. He told senators about a meeting Paxton arranged for him to have lunch with Nate Paul. Bangert said it felt like he was being summoned to help in Paul's legal matters and help him where he could, even though it was a case Bangert felt the AG office should not have been involved. Bangert testified he was exceptionally concerned and there was a break of trust as Paxton continued to aid Paul instead of the people who he was elected to serve. I was deeply concerned that the name and authority and power of our office had been, in my view, hijacked to serve the interests of an individual against the interest of the broader public. And right now, I mentioned we are in that break. Now, we expect at some point today, we will get to the cross-examination of Banger. The defense has turned to question him. We saw with the first witness that the defense is trying to paint these former employees as trying to stage a coup, a coup that they had ulterior motives to getting Paxton out of office. That is why during direct examination, the House of Board Manager is asking direct questions to the witnesses. And Bangert said that they were trying to protect Paxton from his dealings with Paul, that they did not feel Paul was a good figure to be involved with, but they say that those pleas fell on deaf ears. Mark, back to you. The developments continue. Thank you for the update, Chris. Right now, our investigative reporter, Tanya Eiserer, live streaming on our app, WFA Plus, which you can find on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV, as she is joined by legal and political experts throughout this trial, gavel to gavel, giving us insight and analysis of all the testimony. If you happen to be on the go, we're streaming on our website at WFA.com Paxton and via our YouTube channel as well.